Hello, I'm Professor Birdwell. We're going to be doing an oblique drawing in this video module. You can see our toy truck here. We're looking at the side of the truck, which in our orthographic multi-view we've defined as the front view. So I'm Professor Speck, and I'm pointing out this is the front view. And uh, the question now before the house is, well, how do we make an oblique drawing uh, of this little truck? And how do we uh, proceed? Well, very simply, we take the side view as we have it here, all right? And I've already drawn that in. And you begin with 45-degree uh, lines that are all parallel. These are just construction lines to begin with. Do it lightly. Do them long enough so that you've got some space. Not critical that you, you go too far out. All right, now, a couple of things. We know this height is correct and that length is correct because it's the, right there, it's the side view. How about this uh, X dimension? Well, we know the truck is two and a half inches wide. So in an orthographic, you will make a drawing that's two and a half inches. Now, some interesting things happen. The minute you do that, you raise some verticals, all right? now. You have to go to, here's the front plane. I'm going up here to a top plane. I do a parallel line again, uh, like this. And once again with a, a parallel line. And I have made a big block of the object. And you can see it's very distorted. Well, that's, by the way, is noted as drawn here, with full dimensions on all three axes as a cabinet drawing. A uh, uh, cavalier drawing is half that distance. Uh, just find the center of that front plane, as I've done here with diagonals. Uh, uh, raise a vertical, and we'll say, that's the back edge of that, that uh, truck, OK? Now, there's a vertex, so I come across again. I've got a parallel line. You can see, uh, uh, even eyeballing it, you can be very close. And the point of this here is purely to cut that third dimension down, which we've drawn off at 45 degrees, to cut that dimension down roughly in half in order to make your drawing look more realistic. Right. So you can see here uh, 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 how much that uh, reduces the distortion. It's still there, but it's not bad. And for a small object of this order, that's OK. Uh, I advise occasionally to harden up lines when you're pretty sure that's what you want to have on your drawing, uh, just so you don't get confused with a lot of small, uh, light lines, OK? All right, now features on, on uh, an oblique are also constructions. Uh, you just don't sketch them in. You don't guess. Uh, there's a vertex, and here's a parallel line at 45 degrees. There's one here at. 45 degrees. Now, this is a straight portion, so that's going to be parallel, and that's going to be parallel again. Right. Well, you can see immediately I have a vertex, okay? I connect the two. Now, that suddenly is that straight plane that's on either face of this. Now, uh, these are circles. Circles are constructed. Uh, 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 these were very quickly constructed, just as I've uh, shown you in other modules. Simply, it's a circle that exists within a square. All right, we have one half of that. Here we are, okay? So uh, if I do another diagonal uh, and I uh, do put in my tangent points, there I am. Okay, now just taking that same thing and just in effect, shoving it inward a quarter of an inch, uh, it's going to echo what you see here. Now, most of the curve you won't see, just enough to say that, oh, now I understand, if, especially if I draw a line back here, harden it up, I can now see that that's, a, that, that's indented by a half an inch. And this is that back of the wheel well that we've just drawn here. Right. 
you know, now, if I have a, a circle out here that describes an axle point, well, that's no longer on a surface. That's floating out in the air. Ax the axle hole is a quarter inch back. Well, once again, construction. Take a line back, measure a half an inch, and now that's a small circle, so you can say, well, all right, there's, there's about where that axle would be, all right? You do the same back here. I'll just quickly freehand it. Okay. Well, how about the, the observer's window or driver's window, whatever you want to call it? Uh, again, construction. Uh, and it'll all be on a 45-degree line. There's a construction line. There's a construction line. It's in a quarter of an inch. I measure in a quarter of an inch. I measure in a quarter of an inch. I can do a diagonal. I can, and what do I discover in oblique? When I do that, it's a parallel line, isn't it? Okay, you see that? All right, so I come in with a quarter of an inch here. Now I can come in and connect those dots and sort of approximate where it goes out. And you can see that the center line is now moved into this point. And it's very realistic looking. Well, how about, uh, how about the headlights that uh, we... Uh, uh, we have here on, on this little animal, these little sockets here. Well, I put in a center line in the uh, multi-view, uh, side view. Front view. Uh, front view. Uh, uh, and uh, since that uh, center line would, would travel all along here, I know I've got two circles that have to be located on, on that plane and using one uh, the, the center line as a locator. The other one is, well, I know the, the, the distance is about a half an inch, so that's about a half inch, that's about a half inch. I'm simply going to construct one headlight. And remember, yeah. since we've cut that third dimension down roughly in half, you're no longer able to truly accurately dimension in that third axis. So this is sort of a approximation that we're doing yeah. for these dimensions here. And that's, that's one limitation of the oblique drawings is you can no longer uh, truly dimension all three axes anymore. Okay. So you can really mm -hmm. just, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the trade calls it eyeballing, all right? Uh, uh, looks right is right in these terms. So I'll just do another quickie and uh, Now these are a quarter of an inch deep, so you won't see the back plane, which is back hidden in the body, but that essentially is the oblique drawing of this little guy here, okay? Would work perfectly well as an illustration if you were to, to explain this to an outside observer. 